right, hey, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakodash, double honor to the head elders, apostles, bishops of great millstone. Shalom to Yuakim, throughout the world, push this world word in sincerity and in truth. Yeah, I just wanted to speak on this, you know, because uh, through the spirit, you know what I'm saying, what we do, you know, what we've been called to do is to simply condemn, all right, wickedness, man, okay? <laughs> And uh, America is truly the Babylon that the Bible speaks of because it's surely, all right, it's pushing a rebellious mindset, all right, throughout, it has pushed a rebellious mindset, all right. There's no standards, there's no, you know, moral compass that this that this society or this world, all right, actually uh, stands for, man. You know, so, you know, people take these things personally, which is the prophecy of, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, and it gets to people, it cuts them to their spirit, all right, and the intentions of their heart, all right, because after all, we know that these, these same souls, all right, are back in the reincarnation, all right, and they plan, they're playing out their lots once again, okay, so what we, through the spirit, what we do, all right, is condemn this wicked this this mindset we can you know we condemn the rebellious you know reprobate mindset that America has uh, pushed out on the forefront man okay so you take it personal if you want well good you know you take it personal that's on you because the uh, it's not for you if you're taking it personal and you're taking it as if you know uh, we're uh, personally attacking you well guess what. Yahweh Bashim al Shai is a power of judgment, all right, righteous judgment, all right, and he has indignation for the, for for uh, a place such as America, all right, and all of the other uh, strongholds, all right, which the scriptures speak about the seven heads and the ten horns, man, which is the world, all right, or the system of the beast, the world of Esau Edom, man, all right, so we don't give a damn if you uh, you feel offended. Good, the scriptures say. That uh, woe unto them uh, who by whom the offense cometh. For offenses must come. And if you offended, that means you 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 guilty. You know that means you guilty of what? Of being a reprobate. You're guilty of being a, a, a wicked, evil doer. And you're gonna be judged. Point blank. Period. Revelation 14:8 says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. What is this? Democracy. All right. So-called democracy. Okay. Uh, homosexuality. Idol worship. All of that. This is what America has pushed on the forefront. All right. And you wicked people, you have no problems with it. So you're going to face what the scriptures say. All right. You're going to face the judgment that is written. Okay. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, see, the beast and his image, all right, is the, the system, all right, by, uh, set up by the so-called white man in the uh, revival of the Roman Empire. Because the beast is the NATO forces and the EU forces. Okay, the NATO countries and the EU countries. All right, which is the ancient Roman uh, 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 system set up all over again and the image all right the system all right the upc and you know the rfid technology is the is the image all right if you're if, if you're watching the news and you're seeing what's going on geo economically and geopolitically you understand this very well and the water you help i shot for that you know, another point I was thinking about is thank the water. Uh, be grateful that Yahweh Hashem uh, allowed us to be able to see through all this confusion, because this place is complete Babylon, as the scriptures say. What does Babylon mean? Confusion, man. All right, that's why these people are doing what they're doing. That's why they're in the mindset that they're in, because they don't have they don't have no 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 uh, no standard. All right, beginning with your so-called black Latino Native Americans, but of course the ones that rule this world, they don't have no righteous standards. That's why this world is all out of all out of whack. It's a damn mess, and the Lord's going to clean it up by way of fire.
and receive his mark in his forehead and receive his mark all right in his forehead or in his hand what is this mark you go into that word in the uh the greek it'll tell you it's paragma man all right you do the rest the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation wasn't i just speaking about that through the spirit see this is where this 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 babylonian mindset is going to uh get the majority of the the population of the world it's going to get them what the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation okay you could go to uh psalm the 78th chapter i believe and i believe it's around the 10th verse where it says in the lord's hand is a cup yeah what does that cup represent recompense judgment payback and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone how so all right hypersonic icbm all right missiles in the in fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb who's the lamb Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Hatazadak, man. Okay. It says, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. All right. And they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. All right, Hatad Zadok, you see that? You see, and this is what we're, uh, we're pretty much, you know, doing or waiting on, all right? Yeah, so I just wanted to bring that out, man. We're condemning a mi the mindset, the reprobate mindset. And if you want to take it personal, good. That means you're guilty. That means Yahweh Shai, Shai got indignation waiting for you. Because at the end of it, when it's all said and done, you're going to receive this mark. All right. And there's no repentance for that. It's a done deal. And, you know, you're pretty much missile food after that. All right. But how about Shemel Shai keep us from the uh, hour of temptation because we kept the word of his patience, as he says. So that's all I wanted to bring out for now. Lord willing, until next one. Shalom.